Hi there guys, my name's Tom, I'm a product marketing specialist here at GetResponse and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how you can set up product recommendations right inside of your email creator. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself an email drafted. I've already got one here and you can see this is about checking out your recommended product. So what we're going to do today is we're going to drop an e-commerce block which is going to fill in your email creator with product from your store. Now this can be stored grown natively from your GetResponse account or it can be stored that were imported as part of one of our GetResponse integrations. You can learn a little bit more about that in the FAQ. But today I'll just go in and show you the message. So we'll jump in here and I'll show you how simple it is to just drop this into your email and get it set up. So you'll see I've already preloaded it in here, but you'll see already when I'm highlighting this that it's a recommended product box. It's really simple. So I'll show you how to drop one of those in and I'll show you how to edit it. Now we've got our sections right here as normal. We go down to e-commerce and you can see product box and recommended product. Today we're going to look at recommended products and it's as simple as literally just dropping and dragging below one of your sections like that and it's in there already. Perfect. And I wanted to show you this because you can see that there are two different formats. You can have side by side or just below each other and you can also select how many products you want. So up to four or up to six. Your orientation so you can change them just around like this as I've done already. You've got a little bit of customization here and there's quite a few options there when it comes to your appearance and settings so you can have a go at that. You can change the font size here and the font type there to match the rest of your email. One of the most important parts of this is going to be your store and linking it through to the correct store because you may have multiple and you may want to recommend different customers different products so you do have that customization element here. We've got quite a few, so you can just choose. I'll choose the new chocolate monster right there. And you can also limit them to specific categories as well. This will help with your marketing automation flows if you do have specific categories set up there. So great, that's pretty much it. You won't be able to, to, won't be able to actually preview the products inside of the email creator. And the reason for this is because obviously it's based on data. It's based on recommending the most applicable product for the customer that you're speaking to. Now, where do we get this data from? This data comes from your contacts and your list. If a contact has already bought from your store, we'll recommend products similar, but not the one that they've already bought. And if they haven't, we'll recommend the top product, the ones that are performing the best. And we'll use the data that you've got in your store and a quite, quite a smart little algorithm there that will work that out for you and it will pop that in. But it'll be different for every single customer. So it will recommend the specific product that we think fits best for them and going to get them to buy in the actual email that they get. So that's one way to do it. And I'll just click next here and we'll go back to our email creator. And when you can do that. You can send that as a newsletter. You can send out a new blast. Let's say you've had a Black Friday campaign. You want to send out recommended product to a whole bunch of customers who previously bought with you. You know you've got all their data stored in one of your lists. And you can do that. You can just hit the send message there. You can match that with perfect timing so it goes in their inbox at a perfect time and you convert as many customers as possible. Now, one other way to actually double this up is to use it as part of a marketing automation flow. And I've cheated a little bit here and I already have this set up for you. But you can see here what I've done is I've set the trigger and configure purchase details and it's actually the element that is in our e-commerce block just over here. So you can see that right here. That's just purchase. So when a customer actually purchases, we can trigger an event that will then trigger this marketing automation flow. And I want to wait for seven days to give the customer time to actually get the product, to have a go at it, to review it, to see if they want to return it, that sort of thing. You can set that to whatever you want as normal. And then you can send a message. And I'm just sending exactly the same message and it will send that automatically so that every time someone purchases something, depending on how you've set up your event here, then they will get this message down here after seven days. It's a really awesome way to just drive more sales to your store. And it's literally as simple as that. So I definitely recommend having a go with this. You can match these up with our other e-commerce blocks as well. We have abandoned cart so you can catch your customers as they're leaving their cart and they're leaving your websites. If they haven't had a chance to actually buy your product, but they have them in the cart, you can capture them in a very similar way. Or you can set up product box and product box will recommend a specific product right in your email. So you can actually start selling directly from your emails. Okay, guys, have a lot of fun with this. It's a really great little e-commerce trick and good luck with your emails. Thanks guys. Bye.